Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the video player with inside Unity 2017. And um, this is a new component that got added in um, compared to the, uh, from the last video that I made probably over a year ago, where it was implementing audio or a video into the Unity engine while rendering it to a raw texture. So they have actually built in this new video player component that we're going to be uh, using today and we're going to be rendering it to the main camera uh, fire plane and near plane and then we're also going to be rendering it to this uh, quad tv that i have set up here inside this nice little professional scene um so we're going to jump right into it we're going to come down here and create a video player component and right off the bat you can see what we have here so we have our source which is a video clip or a url um, I believe the URL is for if you put video on a server and you want to play it through that way. I'm not too sure if you can play YouTube videos, but you can test for yourselves. I'm just going to be using video clip today and I have not tested this. So we're going to be using the video clip and we have then this video clip field here that we need to fill in. So I'm going to be using this uh, CSGO awesome clutch video that I found on my computer. And we're also going to do play on awake. So when we click play, it will start to play. Uh, but we also wanted to play. Um, we also wanted to wait for the first frame before it starts playing. So we're going to loop through the video also. So once the video ends, it will loop back through. And then the playback speed will keep one because that is normal speed. Anything lower is slow motion. Anything higher is a speed in the video up. Now that we're down here in our render modes. So um, we're going to select our render mode as camera fire playing for the moment and then it's just going to ask for a camera component so we're going to drag in our main camera and then we're going to fit horizontally and then our audio output mode is going to be audio source direct does not work um on windows and um, i'm not sure what platforms it works on but i am 100 percent sure this does not work on windows it might work on maybe like an xbox platform or something like that i'm not too sure you'd have to look into it yourselves but uh, for now, audio source is for uh, PC until further notice. So we're going to bring in our own audio source here and just drag it in. So this is where our audio will be playing from. And I don't think you will be able to hear this because um, my system audio is not being recorded. So we we'll click play anyways and you should be able to see the video. So now we can see this CSGO video being played on the... Uh, Fire plan. and if I select this scene and I move everything over here come back you can see that we can move things over the um, over the video so uh, the video is being rendered behind everything so it is actually is what you can see it's been rendered on is this outer outer rectangle that you can see all the way out here and um, that is what it is being rendered to so now if we come back to our video player and we select camera near plane and when we click play, it will render the whole video over the camera. So no matter what size it is, it will fill the uh, camera view. So, because it's 1080p, if I'm pretty sure if I put this as free aspect and click back play, or it might have to be a, a yeah, so whatever resolution you got set it will play to it um, I'm playing this at 1080p so 1080p once you set it up to an actual screen ratio it will play Samsung S6 doesn't seem to want to work but um so that's how you render it to the near plane so you, it just overlaps everything and you can play a video on top of the camera so now we're going to move on to rendering that same video but to this quad here so I went and made this video material and I've attached to the quad and if I, I'm going to click using a mission as well so we have this uh, texture here so now we are going to well, like you need texture on it to render it so we're going to use the material overwrite and we drag this in it has our material on it and then we're going to be our render property is going to be to the main text so if I click play, the video is actually being played. You can see here that it's 
so much showing up and I just you can't see it because it, there's shadows being casted to the actual quad itself so that's not an efficient way to do this you want to do it as if it was an actual TV so the light is coming from the TV and the way that we can achieve this is by using a render texture so you want to come in here and you want to click create and then we want to create a new render texture and we're just going to call this video player texture and now we're going to come back to our video player we're going to drag in this texture here and then on our TV down here we are going to drag our video player into oh sorry not our video player our video player texture in here and into our emission color as well so now you can see that our screen is black and if we click play I may move this camera just a bit closer so if, um, now so if I click play now you can see that it is rendering the video to the actual quad but it's you got these black bars it doesn't look too great and that is because in the actual video player texture we need to set up the size which is 1920 by 1080 we're gonna put some anti in on I haven't tried this anti in yet but we'll have a look and then our depth buffer we're gonna use no depth buffer and we'll leave that like that. You can play around with the rest of these settings and see how it looks, but for now we're going to use that. So now you can see that the picture is a lot more clear. It's filling up the full quad. If we go into our scene view and come in closer, it's pretty, it's pretty decent quality. So that is how you create, you render videos now inside of Uni 2017 and this is probably the best way to do it and then you can also control these um this video player component through a c sharp script which we're not going to go through today but if you would like to see how that would work um please leave a comment below and i'd be more than happy to do that um other than that that is everything for today's video uh, you can play around with the rest of the values that i showed you um so you can play around with this video uh, player texture values and then if you've applied obviously color to this it's going to change the color of the texture so now this looks like it has really high bloom in game and so you can mess around with it and see what suits for your videos best but uh for now that's it for this video and um, it's good to be back and i will catch you guys next week in the next video adios